Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you on how you can create a spiral text effect in Canva. At the moment, we don't have any native tool in Canva that allow us to do that. Not even a third-party app is available to create a spiral effect. So we can only use whatever tool available in Canva at the moment to recreate or mimic the spiral effect. So one feature that I find is to be useful or at least can recreate the spiral effect is the curve effect for text uh, on, on canva i think you are already aware of the feature and we can actually use it to create a spiral effect let me show you how first let's go to elements and search for spiral and let's go to graphics and i want to insert this particular spiral picture as a guideline as a template we are going to remove this later this is really just for a guideline so we can create a beautiful and uh, something that will resemble a spiral shape i'm going to reduce the transparency because this will be placed in the background now i have this paragraph that i'm going to turn into a spiral text so let's go to text and click on a text body that you want to insert now i'm going to copy this section of the text let's copy and let's paste now i'm going to rotate this text a little bit maybe 90 degrees let's put it here and go to xx click curve and we can play around with this number i guess i'm going to go with 26 you have to play around with the position with the roughness level and also the uh, the rotation of this x of this text box it doesn't have to be perfect but later we are going to try to follow this path of a spiral now let's move on to the next section of the text i do recommend to do it slowly because you don't want to create uh, you, you cannot just copy all the text and then create sorry and then add the curve effect to the text because it's going to make it curve but not spiral so you have to do it one by one now i'm going to just duplicate this text box and i'm going to paste the next text now i'm going to rotate it a bit and now let's put it here okay now i'm going to try to follow the spiral of uh, the spiral path and of course we have to make it maybe a few points higher or lower depending on your roughness angle so for this one i think i'm going to make it to 20 I believe 20, 29 is also fine. Okay, so it's 29. And let's do it again for the next section of the text. Let's copy and sorry, click duplicate. Now we can paste the next section of the text. So let's rotate it again. And this is going to be a little bit difficult, but you should be able to get it right in just a few minutes. Go back to effects and I'm going to increase it to maybe 31 or maybe 32. So yeah, you have to select the number, number carefully if you want to follow the spiral path. Yeah, usually the, the closer to the center the hardness level is going to be a lot higher that's just the way a curve work okay i think it looks great now let's move on to the next section i'm going to copy and let's duplicate again I'm going to paste that now let's rotate this text box it's a little bit difficult to read because we have to see it from a different angle but that's okay let's go to effects again and i'm going to increase that okay it's it gets significantly more curved because it's closer to the center
Okay, now let's move on to the next section. Let's duplicate and let's rotate the text again. Click effects and let's increase the curve of this particular text. Now, copy this, duplicate, and click paste. Well, we are almost there, but I guess the text is a bit too long, so I'm going to short it to miles per hour like that. Let's rotate, rotate the text again, and let's go to effects, increase the curveness level. Again, it's far from perfect, but this is the only tool that we have at the moment. So that's exactly how you can create it. Now I'm going to remove the background and as you can see, we have created a spiral text in Canva. It is not perfect, but this is the only tool that we have without involving any third party program. And so I hope you find this video helpful and if you have any question, please feel free to I'll write that down in the comment section below and if you want to see more tutorial like this please consider subscribing to this channel and i'll see you on the next video